Hello UEA. I believe that poor communication and poor marketing is like going into a Michelin starred restaurant where the floor is covered in sewage and it stinks. No matter how good your idea, product or service is, you need to communicate effectively to get it heard about and your message acted upon. My name is Marcus Hemsley and I've dedicated my life to the study of effective communication so that I can help organisations that I believe in make a bigger impact in the world. Two weeks ago, Finbar called me up and he asked me to come in and speak to you guys about communication. And unfortunately, it clashes with a training course that I'm running in London. So instead, he's asked me to put together this video where I talk about my three biggest tips in communication. Now, these are the core principles that actually I've built my marketing agency, Fountain Partnership, on over the last seven years. I'm an ex-UEA student, and when I graduated, I set up my agency and started putting these ideas in the real world, where I've helped hundreds of organisations with their marketing, with their communication, and helping them to get results. I hope you find what I'm about to tell you interesting, but most of all useful, because I know you're doing quite an exciting project with LiftShare, who are an organisation that I, I really believe in, and I totally resonate with what they're about. So let's begin. The first one, begin with the end in mind. So before you start to create any form of communication, always ask yourself, what are you trying to achieve? What does success look like? And how will you measure the results? I think too often people go out there and they start blasting stuff on social media, they create flyers, various forms of advertising, and they don't really have a strong idea of what they're trying to achieve, of what success looks like, and they don't actually measure the results. They, don't, they can't quantify what's good and what isn't as they move forward and try other forms of marketing and communication. So it's a really important thing. Begin with the end in mind. What outcome are you trying to achieve? Write that out before you even begin anything else when you look at communicating. The second one. Your communication is not about what you want to say, but it should be about what the target audience want to hear. So this is where you really figure out, before you start crafting your message, who are you writing for? Who's your target audience? And what do they need to hear to take action? So put yourself in their shoes for a minute. Imagine what it would be like to be them. What are their concerns? What are their pain points? What are they worried about? What keeps them awake at 3 a.m. in the morning that perhaps your product or service can solve? When you create any form of content with communication, I think there's three clear rules. The first one is to grab their attention. I mean, I'm sure all of you listening and watching this, you're bombarded with stuff all the time from social media, TV, everywhere. Any form of communication you put out into the world needs to grab people's attention. And once it's got their attention, you've only got a few seconds to connect with them. And you should be connect, looking to connect with them emotionally. And you can do that by talking about your values, what you're about, what your why is, why do you do what you do. And a really great way to connect with people is to tell, tell them quick stories and anecdotes so they remember that. The third thing you need to do is then persuade them to take action. There's no point grabbing their attention, connecting with them, and then not having a clear call to action of asking them what to do afterwards. The third big thing to take away from this, my third tip, is to prepare yourself mentally to get into state before you go out and speak. And this is only relevant for verbal communication here, but it's so important. Pele was arguably one of the greatest footballers of all time. And he, years later, he shared his success with us, or his secrets to success, rather. What he would do before every game is he would lock himself away in a dark room and he would take about half an hour to get himself into state before the game. So what he would start off by doing is he would remember playing football as a child 
and the joy that comes up with it. So he would visualise being back on the beaches of Brazil, smelling the fresh sea air, feeling the sand in between his toes, and feel the joy that comes with playing football as a child. He would then start remembering and replaying all of his successes up to that point, to some of his greatest moments as an athlete, and really reliving what it's like to feel successful. He would then finally visualise the game ahead of him playing spectacularly and visualising the final whistle when it got blown and him having scored goals and won the game. So I would encourage you, before you go into any big presentation or pitch, just to take some time to think about your past and remember moments when you were having a great day, conversations were going really well, people were laughing, they found you funny, interesting, whatever it is. Go back to some of your best moments when you've communicated with other people, when you've connected with them. And just remember how that feels. Get the feeling inside of you and then visualise your upcoming pitch, presentation, whatever communication or important meeting needs to be. Visualise that going so well. I know it sounds like a bit of hassle and do I really need to do this, but trust me, I've tested it and in the people I train in public speaking, it works every time. I'm going to leave you one final thing. Last month, Finbar and I, Finbar and I went to a training course. It was to prepare people to give TED Talks. So it was TED Talk training. And the trainer gave us an exercise which I've tested out and is very powerful. It's called Create Yourself and Create Your Audience. And I would highly recommend giving that a go. So I'm going to pass the baton over to Finbar now. And if he wants, he can show you the exercise. But in summary, the three tips Three big tips. Begin with the end in mind. What's your objective? Write for your target audience what they want to hear, not what you want to say. And when you're speaking in public, presenting, talking verbally, prepare your mental game. Get into state. Because the best public speakers with all the practice, if they're in a low mood, a low state, they're not feeling it, they won't perform. It's no different from actual athletes in the physical world. I hope you found this interesting, but most of all useful. Good luck with the project today, guys. Thanks for watching.